Started the Juneteenth celebration here in Fort Worth. Let's make the shirt over here. Yes. 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 You can wear your mask during the interview. Huh? Yes. You want to wear your mask during the interview? No. If people stay away from you, can we can we have you pull it down? We can hear you better. All right. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Yes. Can you just uh, say your name real quick so we can check our mics? Opal Lee. Really? Come on, I'm good. Kevin, you good? Okay. So, Miss Opal, what are you looking forward to the most today? Oh, for hearing from Congress and the legislature that they have really considered our bill and they're passing it. It would be wonderful for it to happen on the 19th of June. Do you have hope that that could happen? Yes, and if not now, soon. You've obviously been campaigning for this for a long time, but it seems like the campaign has really picked up momentum lately. What do you think that is attributed to? Well, to a lot of things, to a lot of people, who have had hope that we would get a bill, a national Juneteenth uh, bill, and I think the climate now, the protesters, the virus, seems to make it urgent that we get something done as quickly as possible. For people out there who maybe don't understand what Juneteenth is, what would you tell them about why it's so important to mark this day? I'd go back as far as when General Gordon Granger, with some 7,000 black troops, landed in Galveston and told people there that all the slaves were free. But he took that general order number three and nailed it to the door of Reedy Chapel African Methodist Episcopal Church. And when the slaves came in from work and somebody read that to them, they started celebrating and we've been celebrating ever since. Personally for you, what do you feel on this day each year? What do I feel? On this day. I'm elated. <laughs> I, I, I've got so many mixed feelings. Why is it taking so long? But I'm glad, I'm glad it's beginning to happen now. Have you been training for this walk? It's hot out there today. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you know, I've been doing the walk all along, but because I've been confined, I've been walking around in my house. And so when I do 10 rounds in the house, it's better than a mile. So I think I'm ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Anything else anyone want to add or ask? I just see the people here this morning joining you in the celebration. What goes through your mind? Oh, listen. <laughs> All the celebrations we've ever had. Our Martin Luther King celebration that we do downtown. Mm -hmm. When the people come from all over for the stock show. I'm just so glad that Fort Worth's my home. And I really need to tell people that they need to go online to JuneteenthUS.com and sign our petition. We are trying to give Congress a million signatures so they'll know it's not just one little old lady in tennis shoes and our National Juneteenth Observance Group. We want Congress to know that there are people who are interested in Juneteenth being a national holiday. What do you say to the young people out there that don't really know too much about Juneteenth? I'm hoping that they will learn. Mm. Everybody in the caravan is getting a little bag and it'll have a pamphlet called 
Juneteenth 101. Mm, okay. I hope they will read it and I hope they'll pass it on to somebody else. We've got to get people to understand that freedom... I, I advocated being from the 19th of June to the 4th of July because slaves were free on the 4th of July. So I'm saying let's bring that together. Let's unify and get some of the things done that we need to get done. We need to address the health situation and the education and job disparity and housing, all these homelessness. We need to address those things. And Juneteenth is the catalyst for getting those things done. And those young people take their protests to the downtown people who make decisions and sit down with them yeah. and tell them what they want and need. That makes sense. With this pandemic, was there ever a thought in your mind of canceling? With the pandemic, was there ever a thought in your mind of canceling this? No, not ever, ever, ever. Didn't even know how. But I'm <laughs> glad this is the turn it's taking. No. What would you tell young folks about what they're going through for the first time in their life? Pandemic. Civil rights movement, modern day. Why would you tell young folks about what's going on? That we've come through it before, that we have gone through these same things over and over again. And let's hope that this is the last time we have to go through it. So it's left up to them to take that protest to the table and take that energy and get some things done. We tried. Martin King tried. Others have tried. So let them be the ones that makes it happen.